Hello, welcome back to my channel. So oh, sorry I had to look like this for my first video after not uploading for two months, I think, or three months. But I'll explain that later. We're running out of time right now. Basically, I'm just gonna dye my hair. By the end of this video, I should be looking like a hot mess. Get it? <laughs> so I'm using this Revlon Box Dye Natural Blue Black one because they didn't have black. So that was my only option. Plus, I'm using blue, so I mean, it's gonna look good, I hope. I literally do this the most random way, like literally like the most fastest random way because I need to go to my eyelash extension appointment in an hour or so. So I just do this, and I make sure I go all the way back, and then I go to the other side, and I make sure I go all the way back. Is this satisfying to watch? I hope so. So, if you're watching, thank you so much. Um, I've been gone. What can I say? Where was I gone, Allison? Tell them what we're gone. Um, well, I was basically gone because I had no creativity. I know you guys probably think like it doesn't really take a lot to film a video on this. Like if you film, I can't see, so I don't know where that fell. But uh, if you have never edited a video or film or anything or try to be entertaining, on the camera you don't really understand how difficult it is to be creative and to film something that you think people are gonna watch and enjoy so basically i was going through some creative rot i had no creativity i felt like i wasn't meant to film anymore and i remember then why i started filming videos to entertain myself to have a creative outlet for myself and because I don't give a poop about what anybody says about me. If you know me, you know I always say this. I don't care what people think about me. The thing I'm dumb for filming myself, dyeing my hair. I don't care. People like watching this shit. I like watching. The, I like watching transformation videos. I know they're like over done already. If you're trying to start a YouTube channel, you shouldn't be worrying if someone's gonna watch or if you don't get a certain amount of views because you're barely starting. I mean, I've been doing this for four years, so you really shouldn't care who's watching or who is who's not watching and all that stuff. It doesn't really matter, honestly. Because at the end, someone's gonna watch it and someone's gonna find it entertaining, you know? I feel pretty empty for this couple of three months that I wasn't uploading and I was going through some life-changing stuff. I don't like talking about my personal life on my social media and stuff like that. There's a lot of things I personally don't talk about. I just don't like calling things upon my life. So that's why I don't talk about a lot of things <laughs> that are personal and not that I don't want people to hurt me because they know my weaknesses but I just don't like talking about some stuff online and I know I know some people who love it and if you do that it's okay. Maybe one day I'll open up and I'll talk about what's like really going on up in here but for now Tomorrow, I'm gonna turn 23 and I'm really excited. It's kind of like bittersweet. I'm blessed to be turning old. Honestly, the best blessing you can have is turning old, and even though it's scary, I mean, pump it up because I'm gonna be 23 and I'm still alive, so I'm really grateful about that. I look bad, but oh well. I don't want to show you guys what shampoos do I use because I get asked about my hair care routine a lot and I don't really know if I want to make a whole video about that. Let me know by liking this video if you want me to make a whole self care routine video for my hair. Um, my hair is pretty long still. I cut it literally like a month ago or two. Yeah, like two months ago. And it's pretty much the same. I don't use heat on my hair like at all. I curl my hair with my Dutch braids so that's the only style I do but I am planning to make a video all dedicated to straightening my hair after four or five years I've been straightening my hair for so long because I personally don't like it sorry if I'm spitting a lot I don't know why I'm producing so much saliva today but I personally don't like how I look with straight hair but I think it's gonna be a look and I need something different and I'm not willing to cut my own hair this short to have a different thing or dye my hair and bleach it and pretty much ruin my hair so yeah um that's probably what i'm gonna do so i can feel that i'm doing some change to myself uh, and plus i cannot get nails i miss having nails i use pantene or pantene however you call it 
and I used the curl perfection and the conditioner uh, I know I have a smaller one and a bigger one but I feel like I use a lot of conditioner and shampoo comment down below do you use more shampoo or conditioner it has 24 hour definition and moisture so I'm gonna use this for my body I mean now I use this for my hair, okay? I love shampoos that make my hair smell really good and this Pantene makes the job, okay? And after that, we're gonna exfoliate and shave. You guys wanna know what shape, what eraser do I use? Because it's, it's pretty specific, okay? I'm gonna just show you guys a new one because I was going to show you my used one, but that's nasty. So I use this one, the Quattro, Quattro for woman sensitive skin and i never i don't really have thick hair on my leg so i'm blessed with that but i always make sure i use the one with four blades because it's better if you're using one with two blades that's gonna damage your skin a lot because you're going through it and going through your leg so you can take the hair off and it's not really gonna take the hair off really good um so we're gonna use this to shave my body and i'm also gonna shave my hair well I'm gonna like trim my facial hair because I want my foundation to look flawless and I've been doing that lately because I, lo I have a lot of forehead hair, like a lot and yeah, and I'm gonna exfoliate and this is the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish and it smells so good obviously it has to be pink <sighs> it smells so good I am really excited <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna include the parts where I'm like you know, I'm doing my hair. I'm gonna include a little because I don't think you guys care a lot about seeing my hair like this. So, yeah, I'm probably gonna talk to you guys when I have my eyelash extensions done. And well, I'm gonna show you guys, you know, when all this is rinsed off. Also, I put this like oil, like coconut oil thing on my hair so I don't have those black things on my face and hair. So that's what's on my forehead. <laughs> okay guys, are you ready to see the final result? It okay. I look crazy on that. This is how the lashes look. <laughs> I'm basically broke now because I spent all my money on this. My birthday money, you know? Yeah, this is how they look. I feel so you know, I don't know. I feel like really Put together and i love to have eyelash extensions and just be able to not wear makeup because you can see my freckles and i like for my freckles to be shown so now um i'm gonna do my braids i had to put my hair in a bun yes it's still wet i wanted it to still be wet because it will make the braid making more easier i wanted to wear my hair straight but i haven't worn my hair straight for four years so i don't know if i'm gonna love it or anything so i just want to be safe i just want to make sure i'm comfortable trying something new on my birthday won't be like like appearance wise the best thing for me you know i'm a woman of comfort i'm gonna show you a little bit of how i do my dutch braid the trick to this is to get depending how curly you want your hair you want to make them you want to make the strands smaller and closer to your head i think the closer to your head the better um, if you don't have nails, even better because doing Dutch braids with nails is really difficult. Some people find it easy, for me it's difficult. I grab this like strand of hair, I do this, then you go underneath. I have really long hair, so it takes about 10 minutes for each one, I think, or honestly, I'm pretty fast. I wouldn't recommend doing this a lot because before I would do it a lot, literally, like religiously all the time and i had really really small hairs like breakage through here and here and all like all this part of my hair so don't do it a lot and this is literally the best curls ever because they look like mermaid hair mermaid hair you know mermaid curls i think that's how they call them most of the time i put iron oil for doing the braids so like my hair can have some moisture because i do find that my hair gets pretty dry after having the braids on for overnight but i just dyed my hair and putting oil like ardent oil in it will make the paint last longer the paint <laughs> the dye last longer so now i'm gonna paint my nails i wasn't planning to paint my nails but i have like black stuff in it because of the hair dye and also my 
I don't know how you call this, it's black. Hopefully it goes away by tomorrow. Yeah, I'm gonna use this one by OPI. I got it on sale. Still good though. And this one is by is a Freedom of Peach. I love peaches. Oh, Allison Booty Salon up in here. Right now I'm just pushing the little cuerito. I don't know how you call it. The cuticles? Yeah, the cuticles. That's professional. That sounds more professional. Good job, Allison. I'm just pushing the cuticles. So what should we talk about? I think I'm closer to finding happiness within myself. I feel the most confident I have ever felt. I actually have lost 10 pounds. I was going to say LVs if you know me. You know that I sell like LVs in, instead of pounds. Um, I lost 10 LVs. At first it wasn't because I was being healthy because honestly I was just sad and wasn't eating correctly. But then it was because I started eating correct you know and not because i was stressed and sad and all that stuff because i do stress to eat a lot but i don't do it anymore thank god but i have done it my whole life so it was kind of like a habit i had to stop so i lost 10 lbs i started posting more on instagram like on bikinis which that's a pretty big deal because if i look at bikini pictures of me of like two years ago it was bad Girl, I look pregnant in some of those pictures. I'll later show them because I am planning to do a video talking about my weight loss, but right now I'm not where I want to be still. I feel like I still need more. Now that I was super fat, but like I wasn't just, I wasn't taking care of myself. Honestly, like I was just too caught up in taking care of other people and making them happy. So I wasn't taking care of myself. And that's when you know something is toxic. That's not just with the relationship, but with friendships. And I was going through the, through both things. So, I don't know. I just think I feel a lot for people. And a lot of things around me affect me. And I was going through some crap, you know. And I let it affect me. But it was mostly because I wasn't happy with what I was surrounded with. And thank God I have really good friends that support me and don't let me be sad and depressed and just don't let me be sad and just help me snap out of it I'm, I also have a really 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 straight up sister who just likes to tell me to get over myself sometimes because sometimes we do need that we do need someone telling us get over yourself I mean at the end the world doesn't revolve around you there's bigger problems I always say your problem can be way worse so humble yourself, honey. Hi, so. Okay, so. Brini, ahorita she can dance right now. Okay, I'm sure Honey <laughs> can wait. Hey, we can do. So um, this is where the editing gets messed up because your girl forgot to film her final transformation. I did film though um, for my Instagram story, so I have. I'm gonna show you guys my final look on the Instagram stories. I'm not showing you like, hey, this is my final result and last stuff like on the camera, but I'm still showing you. You know, I'm also gonna show you some of the stories I had for that day. I had a lot, honestly. Like, I went all out on my birthday, girl. I was like, you know, I went popping. Honestly, I got so many compliments. I feel so happy. I feel beautiful, which that's always good, nice to feel on your birthday, you know. But the dress got so many compliments. But my dress is from Princess Polly. My jewelry, um, the necklace that says Allison is from the um, M Jewels Jewelers, yeah. And the long one is just um, a gold necklace that I was gifted by my tia. And this necklace is also custom made. Ah, bien acá. Let me use my bling bling. But I know you guys are gonna ask me about why I'm saying this is my final result. Cutie! <laughs> Are you guys ready? Ready. ready. One.
one. Yes. Two, three. Happy birthday to you. So it's the next day later and I forgot to film my final result because I was having too much fun and I was in a hurry. I had everything on schedule so I had to have everything at a certain time. Yeah, I had one job and it was to show you guys my final result. So the final transformation. Literally the video is a transformation video and I didn't show them the final transformation. Ah, just redo your whole birthday. No, just the makeup look. I mean, just the makeup. We'll see what I do, okay? But this is the next day. I'm just celebrating with my dad. I'll make it cute. I'll make something work. You guys already know what I did because obviously, um, you're watching this. But my eyes are irritated. That's why they look like that. They don't hurt a lot. They were hurting a lot yesterday, though. So thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's all over the place, but I'm really coming back to YouTube and I think this is the best I could do right now. I try to make the video fun. I try to update you guys a little bit on my life. So thank you again so much for watching this video and I'll see you on my next video. Bye, let's get on with the show.